just love music. I like all kind of music. So yeah. I like to explore. I like to challenge myself with it. Yeah. So that's why I'm, I'm versatile with it, shit. I love it's that. It's my feelings. Where do you, I mean, I'm asking you this because you're so young. Like, what is it that that you see yourself doing? And not doing as a vocation, like, the work, but, like, the love for doing what you do. Um, Honestly, it make me feel better. It's like, when I, don't, when I don't got nobody to go to, when I feel like, I don't really know how to express and say what I want to say. I can always go to the studio and it eventually come out. Mm. So it's like, um, I don't know. I just got a real deep connection with it. And I've been around it since like a baby, baby. Yeah, yeah. I've been around it my whole life. So um, it, it helped me to be able to express myself through my music. So I think that's why I love it so much. That's, that's why it's so deep to me. Did you ever hit a point where you was around it and you seen somebody doing it and you was like, you know what? I can do that better. Uh, yeah, my my main person is my pops. Um, shit, I always wanted to be better. You know what I'm saying? Better than your dad. <laughs> I always wanted to be better. So, shit, I'm gonna be better. Did you grow up in a Did you grow up in a competitive environment? And did he yeah, Did he yeah, foster yeah. that Man, and fuel we, it? We we competitive in everything. We went fishing today. We went fishing this morning. <laughs> my, I caught my first fish with him. So uh, everything we do, we competitive. Fishing, ball, bowling, whatever we do, we competitive. So, yeah. I love that. Always a competition. I love that. Do you have a moment that that was very uh, that just stays with you? You know, in your journey of being an MC and a and and an artist, like something that stands out. Whether it was a performance, a, a moment that you had with another artist in the studio, just something um, that was very special to you. Nah, recently I have a lot of special moments because I feel like every time. Uh, I grow or uh, complete something else, then, you know, that's that's good. Mm -hmm. But recently, I had a performance at um, with the debut, mm -hmm. the the show I be hosting, mm -hmm. and um, this this dude he performed the song. It was so deep, he made me cry. What? Yeah, nobody on the show made me do that, and I I never really cried from other people's music, really, but mm -hmm. like myself. And that's why I say it be so deep to me. So that's something that, something that stood out to me because shit, it actually got people that I can feel just like they can feel me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it wasn't nothing but respect. It was something different for me. It was, it was very emotional, but that's something I can remember. No doubt. What do you consider lyrical? What do you consider lyrical or like top tier when it comes to just music and lyricism? Because uh, Louisiana is its own like microcosm, and and but y'all have some of the best, one of the greatest ever to ever do it. A few of the greatest to ever do it. What do y'all consider lyricism or just somebody going crazy? Um, I think if you got bars, and when I'm saying bars, mm -hmm. I mean bars. Like you actually. Back to back with them. You ain't hitting the same bars in every song. You don't have to talk about the same thing in every song. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, also, just show your whole demeanor, your whole little swag. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. feel like that matter. Yeah. Like your whole demeanor and swag and your confidence, all that shit matter when, you, when you're trying to be an artist to me. Um, yeah, that's that's really it. Is there anybody that you look up to or admire that you want to shout out or just anybody that we should look for, anybody on High Off Light TV uh, that needs to look out for? I know a lot of artists that's, that's good, that's not really big, but they got a little buzz and they nice. Um, respect to everybody who, who have been working. Mm -hmm. um, I listen to Hurricane Wisdom a lot. He hard. Um, uh, Fly J, Fly J hard. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of big other artists, stream artists. Y'all get my brother up here, Tootie Raw. Let's go. Y'all get him up here. Let's go. You know he going to do his thing. It's nothing but love. Shit. Everybody just keep doing their thing. No doubt. Before we get out of here, talk, let's talk about the, de the debut. Because that's really dope that you're doing that. You're an artist, but you're also finding a way to, to, give, that, to give back. What is the debut, and, and why do you do it? The debut is, the owner is Mike. Um, he started the debut, and I think at first it was just like, like something like this, like mic drop performance. Mm -hmm. And um, he ended up hitting me one day like, uh, yo, I want to do this hip hop culture show. And it's like um, artists come perform in front of you and you get them the feedback. Mm -hmm. So the first one we did, um, it was it was nice. It was real nice. Um, we liked it. <laughs> yeah. Then the next the next time he booked it, 
it got, it was like it got better. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like more and more people every time. So the, the like the second third time, that's when I met um the real Doogie. He from Savannah, Georgia. He hard. Mm -hmm. He got a singer called Baker Man. Um, Space Boy Juice. Um, high head youngin. He just hit one million on his. Um, Asian Asian A. She from out here. She got a single called Smile. Yeah. Um, and and it and it just showed from from their point of view how they feel about music and from from my point of view how i think they you know how that yeah. how i think they giving off with the music so it was actually good and it's a lot of networking going on when you come there too that's what's you up. you know what i'm saying it's yeah, like that's what's up i'm from here and you from here we should do this you sing i rap that's what that's what it's really all about for sure content and networking for sure. so it's really good shout out to mike shout out to the debut no doubt. Especially nowadays, collaboration is key more than ever. Look at Instagram Reels, how you can collaborate on content. I mean, every drop that we do, we collaborate with the yeah. artists. And you never know who's going to come over to your side, who's going to come over to our side. And now that they've opened up the, the platform to collaborate with like four to five people. Yeah, that's crazy. You can collaborate with a network, two artists, and the producer, and a brand. Yeah. Like, come on, everybody going crazy and everybody can win. Everybody winning. Everybody winning. Let's That's go. That's the goal. For sure. Um, do you have anything you want to shout out with your music? Anything that you're working on? I'd be remiss not to ask. Um, I just recently dropped two singles like two weeks ago. Um, well, actually three singles two weeks ago. I dropped Test of Time, Guidance, and Fucking Right. So y'all go check them out. I just put them out because I'm working on an um, album. So I just wanted that to kind of like hold y'all from right now. Mm. Um, I'm getting on different platforms, so y'all finna see, see me go crazy on all kind of different type of beats. So y'all just check me out. Poison Ivy, it's I-V-I, -I, not Y. You can't replace it with a Y. You here go off, that's me. Y'all tap in. Let's get it, baby. High Off Life TV, the underground runs through us. Get in the comments. Give us your feedback. Also, tag who you want to see on High Off Life TV. It's your boy, Mike Sick, the Cajun Asian lobster over shrimp because I've never been a poor boy. Remember, <laughs> put God first, family next, and everything else. Put your money where your mouth is and bet on yourself. Till next time. Peace. Yeah. Let's go.